Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by. We are here in the desert looking at our friend, Mr. Ender Dragon. And yes, I thought today would be a great day to finally reveal my little secret I've been keeping for the past couple months about how to do this to the Ender Dragon. I have gotten quite a few questions of how did you do that to the dragon? I, you know, I use this in my texture pack videos to look at the art of the of the uh, Ender Dragon, because the nice thing about this is if you load this up in another texture pack or resource pack, the skin of the dragon will change depending on what the artist has put in the pack. So that's kind of the main use of it, but I love it because you can see all the little details. You can fly as close as you want. You can actually fly through him, and uh, you know, typically when you see the dragon, you're kind of trying to kill him. So and he's pretty fast, so you never really get the time to actually appreciate the art behind uh, Mr. Ender Dragon. But I will finally show you how I did this. You are going to need a program called MC Edit, and you're also going to need a filter by Seth Blink called Stack Entities. But I will start a brand new world. I will start from scratch. I will show you how it's done, and I will teach you how to train your dragon. Okay, here we are on the main title screen here. We're playing in version 1.6.2. I've been using this since... I've been using this little dragon trick since 1.5.2, but hopefully by the time you see this video, it still works. As of now, 1.6.2, it does. So let's start our own little world here. I'm going to create a creative world, and we'll title it Dragon. Doesn't matter what you title it. I'm going to do a super flat, and uh, I'm also going to do redstone ready because it's pretty clean and easy to see. It doesn't matter really what world you pick. Uh, but we're going to do it in this version here and load up our redstone ready desert. Aha, okay, so here we are. Um, now, first thing we need to do is we need to make an end portal. Now, you don't actually have to find a stronghold. You can actually build it yourself. You get a portal frame, portal frame block, and you also need Eye of Ender. So basically, you just build your fly up here and build, uh, no, not there, build your end portal frame just like you normally see and then you put all your ender eyes in like so and there we go now this is typically what happens but all you got to do is break that and then replace it like so and you've got your end portal so I'm gonna head through there and we'll go to the end Okay, here we are in the end. It's loading, and it uh, looks like we're under a little bit. We can see the Ender Dragon. So what we're going to do up here is... There he is right there. Now, you may want to blow up his little uh, recharge orb things because it might make it easier. Uh, we are going to be using MC Edit fairly soon. But the first thing you need here is a minecart rail and a minecart. And uh, this is... Uh, a little tricky to get him to come towards you. I would also suggest you putting it in peaceful so the Endermen don't spawn. We gotta get a rail on the ground and a minecart and when he's... well, he just went by us. When he's close by, we can... Uh, here he comes. Here he comes. So what, he gets really close by and then you press escape and you're gonna save it. Now it's important that he is above the minecart because if he's below the minecart um, that's another way you can actually ride him. <laughs> but in our case, he needs to be above the minecart. So I'm going to save that, and then the next screen you're going to see, we're going to be inside MC Edit. Okay, here we are in MC Edit, and I'll just back up to show you kind of what we're looking at. Hopefully you, you know this program a little bit. But uh, we're looking at these two red blocks here. The uh, bottom one is the minecart, and the top one is the Ender Dragon. They are, are called entities. The red blocks are entities, and entities in, in Minecraft are basically items that move. So whether it be falling sand or a mob or uh, a minecart, obviously, that's what entities are. And we're going to be using the filter Stack Entities. I'll leave a uh, link in the description. But basically, all you got to do here is uh, highlight a box around it and select both of them. Make sure you have quite a bit of space around it. And uh, that's why you don't want to have it too close to these guys because you just want to stack those two entities. But if I load up the filter here and the stack entities is on there and I click it, it should morph into one box. And uh, all we got to do is save it here as the first step, and then I'll show you what's going on in Minecraft now. 
Alright, here we are back in Minecraft, and you can kind of see what's happening underneath him is the minecart that we've stacked him on. Now, he can't move because he's actually attached to that minecart, and the way the filter works is uh, because it's on the bottom, that's why I said it's important to have the minecart on the bottom. The minecart's not moving, and the bottom entity is kind of the thing that controls uh, what's going to move. So, the dragon here, he's not looking too happy, but just wanted to show you what's kind of going on with that. But we got to do the next step back in MC Edit, so we'll meet you back there. Okay, back in MC Edit here, you can see we're looking at the red block, and the red block is uh, the minecart with the dragon on top of it. And uh, we got to do a little bit of backtracking here, but uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to select a nice size box around here, nice and wide around it, and we just want to copy that. Now you can save this, or it doesn't really matter as long as you leave uh, MC Edit open. But if you want to save it kind of as a schematic, you can do that. I'm going to leave it open there. i got to go back into Minecraft uh, real quickly. Yeah, and now I can uh, just basically go back to the overworld by typing slash kill because my uh, my spawn point is in the overworld and there's our end portal frame. So back in MC Edit, uh, we can load up this item here, which is uh, our dragon and our minecart here. And just place it up in the air wherever you want to in your own map and you have to press import. If you have uh, this saved as a schematic, you could import it into a different map. But uh, if, as long as you leave MC Edit open, you'll have it here in the top corner. Make sure you press import and make sure you save. <laughs> That's one thing I forget sometimes. We'll save that back to Minecraft. And you see we have uh, Mr. Ender Dragon here in our overworld. Now, um, the interesting thing is the minecart doesn't get copied over, or maybe it does and it's not visually there. I'm not sure. But for whatever reason, MC Edit copies it over and only maintains the visual look of the Ender Dragon, which is exactly what we want. Now, we got to go back into MC Edit, but I do recommend leaving these blocks in place here and deleting them after, because uh, they seem to help with the slowdown process. But let's go back to MC Edit. And we simply just uh, select the box around it again, and we apply the filter here once again, and save it. And then back in Minecraft, we are in the slow-mo dragon. And that's exactly what we want. Now you can change your biome. It obviously gets copied over because we copied them from uh, the, the end. But uh, that is how you do it. Now it's, it's very buggy and glitchy and uh, half the time I can't get it to work properly. It may have something to do with me selecting a box very close to the red entity. It may have something to do with me keeping these blocks in. Um, you should be able to break them after you have him in place. Or if you can't, you can delete it with MC Edit. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that little look. Um, I'm not sure if, <laughs> if you run into problems, I'm not sure I'll be able to exactly uh, fix it. But just keep trying if you want to get this to work. Anyway, it is buggy, but it is fun. Hope you enjoyed How to Train Your Dragon. Enjoy your Minecrafting.